It's just over two kilometers long and ranges in height from one to four meters. But this wall, which Ecuador is building on its frontier with Peru, has prompted a fierce diplomatic row. Peru has said it breaches an internationally backed 1998 accord between the neighboring countries that prohibits construction within 10 meters of the frontier. In this note, we also made a record we remind Ecuador of its obligation to keep a distance of 10 meters, which it is not doing. For that reason, we ask that the construction be halted. Ecuador and Peru were the last two Latin American countries to go to war in a border dispute known as the Cenepa conflict in 1995. Bilateral relations had improved greatly until construction of the wall began in March. Until a few months ago, all that divided Ecuador and Peru was this drainage canal. Now there's a four metre high wall on Ecuador's side. Inevitably, comparisons have been drawn with Donald Trump's proposal for a border wall along the US frontier with Mexico. And to a lesser degree, this construction has generated similar feelings of anger and rejection. Not least from Ricardo Flores, the governor of the tiny region of Tumbes on Peru's side. These are practices which don't belong to the democratic integration of peoples and are more like the United States and Trump's wall, which is dividing two cultures, dividing two peoples. But the mayor of Huaquias on Ecuador's side says it's not a wall. Ronald Farfan says it's part of a $4.4 million project to revitalize the frontier town. No es un muro que encierra Huaquillas. It's not a wall which shuts off Huaquillas and is detrimental to the frontier. It is a cement wall to retain the soil level. I can't put material there without containing it. There's been a bad interpretation on the Peruvian side and on the part of its foreign ministry. But on the ground, it's already had an impact on the fish trade. Traders on both sides say what they do is informal, but it's not smuggling. And the wall is hitting them where it hurts, in their pockets. Huaquillas and Aguas Verdes are going bust. Both peoples are worried and we're ready to hold the strike and take to the streets. Whether it's a wall or a park with a wall, this construction could have far-reaching diplomatic implications for the neighboring countries. Dan Collins, CGTN, in Aguas Verdes, Peru.